How juveniles back that ass up, change the world. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Renanistine, and today we have to celebrate Juvenile's best record. So kick back and relax as I quickly tell you why Back That Ass Up was a world changer. And if you're one of the three people on earth who never heard the song, make sure you check it out after you watch this video. Oh yeah, and shame on you. So the first impact that I have to point out is the fact that it got everyone a dance no matter what they looked like. And keep in mind, it came out during a time when people was acting bougie. I saw men struggling to get a dance. They would walk up behind a girl and she would quickly glance back to check if he's cute. Then she would have the nerve to walk away. It's not like the guy was asking for her hand in marriage. It was just a simple dance. But once back that ass dropped, it became a frenzy on the dance floor. And you did not want to be caught without a partner. Because women would spot any guy near them and back that thing up. Also, everyone discovered why it was important to have booty. This was when people were still hating on thickness. They didn't see the point of the Georgia peach. And I blame that on ballroom dancing and all that other mess you saw on TV. But when people saw how some women could throw it back, it became mandatory for you to have some booty. I mean, they didn't care what they had to do. From squats to injections, they were gonna have it one way or the other. You could call it good or bad, but the booty era has started. And don't forget how the mainstream media fell in love with twerking. At first they wanted to ban it, but it got too powerful. So they tried to hijack it by saying that Miley Cyrus invented it years later. But everyone from the streets know where it started. It was nothing new for us because we've been seeing it for years. We didn't need MTV to tell us nothing. And isn't that what we do? Can you think of one year where we didn't invent a new dance? We've been setting trends. And you can never keep something as good as booty music a secret. Also, it became okay for you to tell a woman to back it up. If you were to utter those words before that song dropped, you might have got slapped. But once it became a worldwide phenomenon, it became mandatory to say it. You would just approach a girl from behind, lean close and whisper in her ear, back that thing up. And the crazy part is, she'd love it. It was like a fairy tale come true. It was like God came down and said, I'm going to bless every man. It was everything we wished for and more. And keep in mind, it was also the first time some people heard an unknown artist by the name of Lil Wayne, who would later become a legend in the hip hop world. And all he had to say was, after you back it up, then stop. What, what, what? Drop it like it's hot. As a kid, that was the hardest bars ever. The DJ could cut the song off and everybody could sing it word for word. It became a school chant. You had to play it at every party or it was lame. And I think it was the perfect introduction for Lil Wayne. But the song itself also had the greatest intro in hip hop. I mean, how many times have you heard that beat playing? and a stampede of people came running onto the dance floor. I think it's more recognizable than the national anthem. And it probably gets a better reaction. Can you imagine before every football game they would simply play the juvenile song? We can remove our hat and put one hand on our heart while somebody backs it up? Is that not what we want? And just know this, for a moment in time it brought everybody together on the dance floor. This is a song of world peace. No matter the color of your skin or what your beliefs are, we all can back it up. And I hope they never stop playing this song. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. And when you're done, watch another video. Till next time.